Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Will, and we are here with some more Zelda Breath of the Wild, our uh, first ever playthrough of any Zelda game. And we are moving kind of slow. <laughs> we are here at the horse hut. About to continue. We just got the boomerang. Really? A hundred years ago. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so stronger monsters do come out at night, I guess. Um, we need to go this away. I know we can get a horse, but I don't know if that's like through story or if we can pick one up here. Let's actually see, is there... Crap, were there horse stables? There was. Oh, they're kind of locked in there. All right. Anyway, moving on. We're going to try to make it to the village today. Got some ruins. Tower. Hmm. Wild horses. Okay, those rocks look suspicious. <laughs> what do I do? What do I do? Do we got him? Good guy. Now, do we have to do anything? Is... Alright, no, I wasn't sure if there's like a feed apple. There's got to be a way to get a saddle or something. Okay, so it looks like it's just a tap and I don't need a hold. Okay, that's a hard stop. I was hoping it would, like, slow him down. Huh. No, buddy. Let's, let's go this way. Uh, I'm hearing some piano keys. Wait. Come on. Come on, buddy. Oh. Oh. All right. We got him. We did enough head pats. Victory. Okay, he's a little hard to control. Kakariko Bridge. Oh. oh yeah, this is gonna speed us up a lot. Oh, okay, so there's stamina. I thought that was showing us how fast we were going. Whoa, whoa, what's happening? I, that keeps happening. He keeps, like, trying to turn around. Oh. 
pretty sure I turned off motion controls, so that's not it. What the hell is that? How do we dismount? Oh god, I was not expecting high pitch coming from that frame. <laughs> yeah, I kind of see the theme of everyone referring back to 100 years ago. <laughs> Got it. Morocco's ho. All right, let's see. Let's see about climbing up this so we'll have the high ground. Oh, whoa. Okay, so what's how? Okay, I'm assuming that was probably because we were wet. Stop falling. Oh wait, I haven't done a charged attack on this yet. Oh no, okay. Oh wait, yeah I did. I've done that before. Ow! Oh no! Our boomerang. Ah, oh, god damn it. I knew it was kind of bad. Like the frequency of how often your weapons break, but I did not think it was going to be this bad. He was just outside. Oh, no, no, no. Shoot. I need, uh... It is so not good that the button I subconsciously think as, like, yes, is the one that puts us back. <laughs> yeah, we're kind of weak here. Oh. No! Oh, you can't really turn with it. Oh, wait, that's Perry. Oh, shoot. Okay, I just accidentally hit that button. Shoot. There's kind of a lot in this game that they don't... I, I don't know, they don't seem to tell you. I don't know if I just missed it when they explained how to parry. I don't think I missed it. Oh wait, what am I doing? I'm a moron, I'm wasting stuff. I keep forgetting we have the Sheikah Slate. <gasps> oh shit, and we knocked over the tree. Apples. Acorn. got Morocco's and he's never getting them back
Okay, that's glowing. Oh, sweet, our horse is still there. I was afraid that it might disappear. Wait, what's up in the tree? Oh, no, that was just lighting. I thought I saw, like, a green fruit. But it looks like the... There's just, like, lighter green leaves. I did not know that they were bigger guys. I thought they were all just, like, little shorties. Does that mean we'll find like even bigger ones that the ones like are size of trees or something? Yeah. We got five Korak seeds. Okay, so that's what that does. Nice. I wonder what the cap is for it. Alright, that's gonna be it for now. Complete. Okay, so that's how I expand that, it seems like. And we got un two free slots, one for the bow, one for the weapons. That's nice. These guys are pretty easy. I will have your goat, mate! out for those different little world puzzles right. we should be close to the village I think like I don't think it was that far away from the horse stables Yeah, I think we might need like a pickaxe or something for that. I mentioned it last time we came across. Oh, we got a shrine. What 
the heck? Why did it stop? Okay, shrine nearby. Maybe it's on top of one of these mountains. Is there a shrine in the village? Just looking around for it. Alright. What do we got? Yeah, I don't know how I feel about the whole shrine sensor thing. Like, I get it's super useful, but like whenever they have some sort of like searching object thing that you can't really turn off that like beeps at you that shit's always gets annoying okay invisible maze maybe or not Shield. Oh, this is going to be a fight, isn't it? Nope, oh, sorry, wrong thing. Um... Oh, I should have got another shield spot. We really don't have a lot. Um... All right. This might be out of our league. Maybe. Or no, we should be able to handle this. Let's see. Nice katana. Oh, that is dope. Side hop. Tell am I doing damage? Oh, that's how they teach us those moves. Okay. Oh, so. Oh, it's kind of forgiving. Interesting. So it's... There's a parry, but there's also like this weird dodge mechanic.
Oh, man. Okay, so yeah, they just taught us the basic dodge and parry mechanics. I was wondering, it. I'm surprised it takes us to get all the way here for that to happen. Build power, release power. So basic charge. Ooh. Awesome. Okay, I did not know that there would be like combat related ones. Actually, is there a Coliseum in this game? That'd be pretty cool to see a Coliseum. Awesome. That's dope. It's level 20. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna back down to something a little cheaper. What? We still need to figure out what to do with those mineral materials. Like that's gotta be like some sort of armor crafting. Or maybe weapon crafting. Still need to figure out who I turn those into now. I'm hoping someone in this village is going to be like the person that we're gonna like come to to give those orbs to. Because I know Kak Kakariko Village is like one of the staple places within the game franchise. Hello. Oh, hold on, there's something orange over here. Fairies. Is this going to be like a Genshin Impact thing? Where we have to do something, like give this thing... Like orbs or something to get it to grow. Talking plant? Why? <laughs> Why is your power brought to you by rupees? Oh, it's a person. I thought it was just the plant talking to us. I actually don't know what the fairies in this game look like. I, like, I know they're just, like the little orbs with wings, but that's it. I didn't know they had an actual human form. Luckily, we have a bunch of rupees. Uh -huh. 
Okay, that's weird. <laughs> Got some big hair. I don't know, this seems like just like the basic stuff you get at the beginning of the game. Should I... Okay, well, what, what? Give me pants beyond pants. Increase their power. Oh, okay, so that's what those are for, okay. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, please don't tell me that thing shuts and I have to give him a hundred rupees every time. Oh wow, that sucker's still going. this I know I like I ran like right past the village we'll, we'll circle back oh, oh okay I think I know what to do You just had to match the image. Yeah. Another Korok seed. Okay, sweet. So like a lot of the things I was wondering about, about like, what do we use all these parts of the monsters for? We got that answered. How do we, like, is there a way to increase our armor strength? Got that answered. All the parries and whatnot. As well as how to expand our weapon slots. Got a lot of that answered. We got radish. What the frick? Oh, it's water? Oh, rainbow. Oh, double rainbow. Wait a minute. Um, came in there. I ran up here. Oh, I'm like all the way over here. All right. Oh, wait. Interesting. The fairy doesn't really have a a symbol. Huh. Well, we're gonna climb up here. Oh, that might be too high. Oh, this might be too high. Shoot. All right, never mind. Oh, wait. Hello. What are you? Alright, I've seen you before. 
We need a ball. There's got to be a ball nearby. All right, I'm going to follow this path down. Maybe we'll find a ball so we can figure out whatever the hell that is all about. Oh, maybe we have to find it down in the village. somewhere oh, is that a chest no yeah. Ooh. Y'all better recognize. Whoop. So, you're finally awake. It has been quite a long time, Link. I am much older now, but you remember me, don't you? The audio sounds a little weird with the voices.
Let's take a minute and look around. Journal of various warriors. Ah, starting off great. Oh, there's two shrines. Okay. So we need to find the other one. It's probably going to be a test. She's going to give us the ball. We're going to run up the hill and put it in the thing. Oh, <laughs> oh I wonder if that will act, if that will, like, putting the ball in there will, like, cause it to rise and, like, activate a second shrine. That's, like, underneath it, maybe. The history of the royal family of Hyrule is also the history of Calamity Ganon, a primal evil that has endured over the ages. This evil has been turned back time and time again by a warrior wielding the soul of a hero and a princess who carries the blood of the goddess. With the passage of time, each conflict with Ganon faded into legend. So listen closely as I tell you of this legend that occurred 10,000 years ago. Hyrule was then blossoming as a highly advanced civilization. Even the most Powerful monsters posed little threat to the denizens of the realm. The people thought it wise to utilize their technological prowess to ensure the safety of the land, should Calamity Ganon ever return. They constructed four mechanical wonders that came to be known as the Divine Beasts. They also built a legion of autonomous weapons called Guardians. The Divine Beasts were piloted by four individuals of exceptional skill from across the land. And thus, the plan to neutralize Ganon was forged. Upon Ganon's inevitable return to Hyrule, the princess and the hero 
fought alongside these four champions against this ancient evil. The Guardians were tasked with protecting the hero as the Divine Beasts unleashed a furious attack upon their terrible foe. And when the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness delivered his final blow, the princess used her sacred power to seal away Calamity Ganon. Are we gonna like go all mighty morphin on them and combine them into one? That would be a baller ass ending. Giant robot fight versus the giant evil smoke cloud monster. Okay. Okay.
Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, so we find little uh, shrine statues. Um, let's do some stamina. How many does it take? Is it four or one? Okay, it's four per. Well, we got more stamina. Sweet. Oh, oh, okay. I was talking to her because I thought she'd like open up a shop menu. We got butter. We got egg. We got carrot. We got gets. Uh, I prefer my guts to be the black armored giant sword wielding mechanical arm type. Which I believe there's supposed to be a new chapter of Berserk out. I still need to read. Which. I'm still, like, the creator of Berserk unfortunately passed not too long ago. But the people that were working under him have kind of, like, taken up the task to continue the story. And it's still pretty early on in the chapters they've been making. But, uh, we'll see. So far it seems pretty good. Like, it doesn't seem like it drastically changed direction or anything. Do I have to go inside? Is that what it is? It is. Okay. Oh, hello. Uh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh, these are way more affordable than the other ones. Holy shit. Oh my god. I'm having heart palpitations just thinking about trying to get all those. Which actually, it probably won't be that hard. We haven't come across too many things yet. Side quest. Fetch quest. Okay. I got him! Oh, wait, can we use him as a glider? That's one. Oh. 
to get the AB one inside. I saw one up here. Oh my god, that stamina just drained so fast, man. Aha! There's one. Come here, cluckers. Nope. Oh, okay. Dang it. How do we get you to move then? Like, I thought we were gonna have to like burn down the trees or something like that to get them to move. I lost count. That was four or five. And wait, shoot. Was it that he had ten chickens in total or he's lost ten chickens? There's got to be a chicken inside someone's house. Holy shit, there's one up on the roof. Yeah. That one's so mean. 
of placement. Okay, two, four, six, eight. Okay, we got two more left. One's on the roof. There's still like an upper corner area we can check. And now I need to also keep my eyes out like up on rooftops too. I got so lucky seeing that one. Oh, there it is. crouchy when I go towards them because I'm just assuming they can like hear me and then they'll run away. Wait, what the hell is that? Oh, it respawns back. Okay. For some reason, that just reminded me of the episode of South Park. Um, we need to catch the chicken lover. Nice, 50. Okay, so I guess they're not that hard to come by. The rupees. Complete. All right, yeah, and I have to see, can I move that silver ball in here? I should have done that as soon as we finished talking. Unless it's like a story beat thing. No? All right, maybe it's a story beat. Maybe we have to come back to do that. All right, and also let's... Those are complete. We got that one. Oh, wait, no, that, that was... Oh, dang it, I did it again. All right. All right. Map. Right. We'll run uphill and then once we get all the way up there, we'll glide down, hopefully, in the right direction. Oh my god, <laughs> I can barely run up a hill. How am I a legendary warrior? <laughs> I think we'll just try to beeline it straight to it. See how that goes. Yeah, that ball's got to come up here to this. Ooh. Ooh, actually, I wonder, are there plants that only bloom at night, which means we can only pick them at night? That has got to be a thing.
Oh, we haven't fought these guys before. Huh? Oh. Wow, that was... Oddly easy. I thought they'd be more than one shot. So base bacoblins in those little wing thingies are pretty basic. Honestly, we have, really haven't done a lot of fighting. Ooh, we got some mysterious piano. Oh, even these skeleton guys aren't even that hard. I mean, like, they're one shot. Oh, sweet. You got an actual sword. Oh, let's actually swap our shield off for something else. And let's see about picking up this shield. Is it better? Well, not better than what we have on. I meant better than the one that we dropped. Equip. That's a pretty nice looking shield. For it being so low level. <gasps> also, oh my god, we only have five basic arrows. Alright. Oh, wait, we, we could have captured that. Ah, oh, man. Capture some flying bugs. Ooh, hello. This kind of reminds me of some of the visuals I'd seen for, uh, like, the last two Pokemon games. Where it's just, like, kind like low-res textures just painted all over everywhere. It's like you don't really see the grass in the distance or anything because it's just kind of limited. Which, this game did come out for the Wii U as well, so... Massive limitation. Must... Please! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> I don't know how far off that tower is gonna be from the town we're gonna try to go to. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're like nowhere near it. All right. Hand slap. It says that there's shrine that's close. It's kind of vague. Yeah, I'm not really getting... What the shit is that? Alright, there's something over there. Okay, big guy. Don't think we're gonna mess with that. Oh, shoot! Ooh, 
Ooh, eyeball. Yum. My favorite late night snack. Yeah, I was thinking it was like over in this direction, but then like... What the frick? Oh wait, hold on, what's that? Well, this is clearly something. Can we explode the ground? No, this is something. Maybe there's a rock or something? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not getting this whole system. Because, like, we were here, like, just a, two minutes ago, and it was, like, beeping off the charts. And now we're back here and it's like barely doing anything. See? I'm not seeing anything anywhere. Like, are, like, yeah, this this whole track system is not fucking great. I just do not get it. Is it in the direction our character's pointing? Is it the direction that our camera's pointing? And then it's like only like super vague and non-specific in what direction to go. And there's nothing over here. It keeps saying, oh yeah, it's right here. There's nothing here. There's that circle of rocks, and that's like the closest thing we got. Just some sort of clue. So what the fuck are you supposed to do here? Unless we're supposed to maybe drain the water, but the signal was getting weaker when we were going over there. Alright, whatever. We'll come back later, maybe. So fuck it. Yeah, whatever, pass. I don't know, maybe we have to activate the tower or something for the shrines to show up? In this region? Like maybe that's a thing? I don't think so, but... Okay, yeah. I was worried that we might not be able to make it, but we definitely can. Whoa. And we got some horses. We'll head up and do the tower, like, right away. Um, it should be... Yeah, that's that's gotta be in the same territory. Unless it, like, barely crosses over to that border, but I doubt it. 
this map is pretty big so far. It's kind of like the opposite problem that Genshin Impact has, where the map looks big, but then like you can get around super fast. Where this actually takes some time. Oh wait, what the shit is that? Ow! Oh my god, okay, horses do damage. Asshole. No, 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 shoot. I was trying to remember what were the buttons to do dodges and whatnot. Nope, wrong direction. How do you... Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button, that's why. There we go. There we go. Oh, okay. That makes fights way easier. I kept hitting uh, L. Just yeah. You know, I was gonna say L one. That's not the right one. It's just L. <laughs> oh, and there's another one right there too. Yeah, I kept on hitting L when I need to hit Z L. The zeal. Some basic biddies. Got some horns and whatnot. I should probably eat some. Wait, can we eat? We can't eat those, can we? No, we can't. Okay. It's like jello. Except at one point it was alive. Oh. Ow, oh, and it's raining. Shoot, okay, um, fire arrows, probably. Oh no, it's just trying to direct us in what way to go. Uh oh. Oh god. We're not going to be able to make it. It is so freaking low. We might have chosen the wrong path. Actually, you know what? I take that back. The main stamina bar actually takes up a lot more stamina than like this sidebar does. Oof, all right. That's like halfway. Awesome. Okay, yeah, so their outer circle stamina is like way lesser. Wait, what the shit? right here. Wow, this feels like a much slower climb than the previous ones we've done. 
Thank God I spent money on stamina. Right off the top. The splooge of knowledge. Not a lot going on here. Was that the village? Yeah, yeah, that's the village. Oh, we could probably get there just by gliding it. We're skipping a lot of travel time here. Uh oh. All right. Uh. It's a bit further glide than I thought. Yeah, we'll be fine. I think I already see it. Okay, so it looks like there's always going to be like a temple right near a uh, town. Boom. Oh, look at those. Ah, nice. Alright, let's do the shrine before we do whatever we're supposed to do here. Alright, what's it gonna teach us now? What's going on over here? Oh, is this... Okay, I think I know this shrine. This is the easy way to do it. I, I'm sorry, I already know the trick to this one. <laughs> yeah, this one's got like a massive loophole in it. Yeah. 
I remember seeing a video of this one like a while ago of someone like losing their fucking mind trying to do the puzzle and them just coming to the realization you can just flip it over. Wait, but how? And you can do that. Oh, 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 hold on. Um. How do we get that chest, though? Is it whatever pose we're in when we exit out? Does it, like, keep the pose? It's hard to judge. No, nope, that's way too high. Good lord. Yeah, it's so hard to judge. Alright, that might be need to be a little lower. What? Or actually, could I make it from over there? Oof, oof. <laughs> but now how do I get back? Ooh, nice, all right, level 10 bow. Hmm. Why did I do this? I literally, I was literally right next to the exit. No, oh. Uh, I tried to jump and deploy the parachute, but that wasn't happening. <gasps> no, oh God. Yes, okay, sweet, 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 sweet. Wait, 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 wait. All right, that's still open, good. Wanted to make sure it didn't reset the uh, treasure opening. Noise. Oh, whoa, god damn, time flies by when I play this game. I thought we were near, like, the hour mark. We're already, like, almost at two hours. Holy shit. One orb. One opportunity. Man, that is such a clean loading screen. <laughs> I did it! This is the right village, right? There?
行了。Still more up the hill. God damn. This isn't even in the town. <laughs> Okay, hold on. What are these signs saying? Okay, a lab. Wow, someone's a voyeur. They ass binocular pointed right at. I wonder where they're pointing. Oh, wait, is that pointed right at the tower? Let me guess, classic anime trope, you're way older than you look. Wow. 
I knew that there was supposed to be voice acting in this game. I just thought there would be a bit more of it than it seems like the most important cutscenes style. AKA like PS2 style important cutscenes. Like, I've seen pictures of Zelda from this game. I thought she was going to be, like, more part of this story. Like, I knew, like, the classic trope of Princess has been kidnapped and you need to rescue her. But for some reason, I thought, like, she was going to be, like, actually part of the main story of stopping Ganon and it wasn't going to be a rescue mission. I should remove all these markers. Doesn't seem like we'll get anywhere close to them. And right now they're just kind of taking up real estate on our mini map. Oh god. A moron who almost fell to our death. Okay. S that. Oh, that can't be right. The blue thing glowing in front of us, I thought maybe it was the shrine? <gasps> Boat. That's not the location of it. Was it? Yeah, the shrine was over there. flame then I'm guessing Shoot, I forgot. By running, you put it out. Much more, like, less flame-looking and more goopy-looking. How the hell? Oh, wait, there's another one over here. There. There's a whole bunch of these around. Wait, that thing's still marked. Did I not do it? I thought I just needed to get the... 
Deathly Flame. Was I wrong? Hold on. What's happening here? Weird, okay, so and I thought I saw some more down in this direction. Why does that stay activated? Am I crazy? Is this not what you're supposed to be doing? Maybe I'm supposed to light them. I'm supposed to light all of them. For a second there, our heat meter was going off the charts because I walked into the fire. I forget that even lighting stuff with a torch can... You can, like, accidentally catch yourself on fire. Yeah, is this, am I wrong? The marker keeps staying over there. I don't know if I actually need to light all of these. Yeah, okay. Huh, weird. Okay, so it just stays... Huh, weird. Maybe I don't even need to light those. But I will anyway. Just take it away, Hong. Especially since we can't run. I don't think there's any more torches over here. The blue really pops. Man, yeah, I just... Mm. It's a shame that they couldn't release, like, a Switch-exclusive version of this game. Where they were actually able to take full advantage of the Switch and they didn't have to, like... Do it down because of the Wii U. Which, by the way, like, super surprising that this thing also came out on the Wii U. Where it's just like, really? You didn't put all the apples in the Switch basket? 
Although, I don't even know how long this game was in development, so it could have just been it was, they were working on it for a long time on the um, Wii U. Oh, hey, there's a shrine down there. In the water. There's a circle of trees right there for some reason. the furnace. Is it inside or is it somewhere outside we need to light? Oh, okay. I'm afraid to go inside because I don't know what kind of interactions would end up like putting the weapon away and killing the flame. Who did it? Yeah, see. Is it? Whoa. How the hell did you get one of those suckers installed in here? So what's it gonna do then? If we unlock it, like what are some of the other th features? Is the ones that we have are like all the ones I can really think about actually having on the Sheikah Slate camera. Oh, okay, camera. Compendium, album. Oh, so it's just like the basic like Bestiary and camera. I was thinking it would be a little bit more. Yeah, it doesn't feel right to have the camera in there like that. Like, all the rest of them are, like, useful weapons. Unless we start going, uh... Oh, what's that one Japanese horror game called? Uh, Fatal Frame. Unless we start fatal framing some shit, then we need to capture some ghosts and some in some photos, which I would be down for. Ooh, hello. It's the album. Creatures. I guess maybe there'll be... Would there be missions where it's like, hey, go take a photo of this? Or is this just the tutorial for the camera?
Oh, is that what it's going to be? Like, you have to go to those places, take a photo, and then it will be like, Memories, memories, memories. Okay, what do we get? Okay, the Sheikah Sensor... We haven't really used Stasis at all. Bombs would probably be the most useful, so let's do that one first. How does it change? Wait, hold on. Then let's look at the other one, this Sheikah Sensor. That one's just for locating nearby shrines, right? Let's just be safe and go with the bomb one first. Might as well do the other, the uh, last one. Who is Robbie? There's stairs up. Let's check out the view up top. Wow, there's some fat stairs. No, ah!
Eh. We need some guardrails on this sucker. Oh, there's a guardian on the top of this thing, I just realized. Holy shit. I wish we could zoom in and out more with this instead of it just being like one zoom in. Oh, it looks like a volcano over there. All right, well, we are going to call it for today. We're like right at time. Once again, I hit the wrong button. Honestly, hitting the wrong buttons hasn't been as much of an issue as I thought it was going to be. But, uh, yeah, that is it for today. Making a little more headway within the main story. Honestly, kind of slowly, but I just enjoy, like, running around and exploring this world. Unfortunately, it's all kind of looked a bit samey between this village and the last one, but I know there's, like, a whole bunch of different areas, like that mountain area we were in. I know there's more stuff down by the water and a desert area. So I can't wait to get around to those and see what those are like. But uh, yeah, that is it for today. The end of day 1,400 of days streamed in a row. Uh, tomorrow we are going to be doing, we're going to be continuing our Arkham Asylum playthrough, the uh, Return to Arkham Edition, which is the PS4 re-release with increased like graphics and whatnot and textures. Uh, we're, I think we're almost halfway, midway around beating that game, actually, which is very surprising. That game is way shorter than I remembered. It's crazy. Uh, but yeah, we are, uh, midway through there. And we will be doing that both Saturday and Sunday. Monday, we will get back into the Zelda. And then on Tuesday, we'll get back into Genshin Impact. But that is the plan for the next couple of days. And yeah, like always, there are links down below for my Twitter, where I tweet out every day when I'm online and what I'm playing, as well as links over to my YouTube channel where all my previous streams are uploaded and archived over there. But that is it for today. I will catch you all later. See you.